Hello everyone, it's Mike Riley. I'd like to be able to give you another sneak peek into my upcoming book, Finding My Voice. I've announced Ironman races now for 30 years and I've come across some of the best people in the world at those races. And when you finish the book, I'm sure you'll agree with that. I'd like to share with you a story from 2015 at Ironman Lake Placid. The night before the race, I was in my hotel room and heard some commotion on the outside and smelt smoke. So I went out with everybody else and we saw the building next to my hotel was on fire, the top two floors. So we stood out by Mirror Lake watching the fire and what we saw and what I saw and witnessed on the balcony was quite amazing. Not amazing in the fact that there was a couple firefighters trying to fight this fire. One was holding steady the line. He was dressed in full gear, his helmet, his gear, his oxygen tank. And then there was the firefighter at what I thought was a firefighter, at the front, holding it, spraying the fire in a pair of gym shorts and a t-shirt. I mean, we just couldn't believe it. So what was that all about? Well, later on, I was on Main Street after the fire and the fire was settled down and saw a couple walking towards us. I was with some of the executives from Iron Man. And I looked at him and he looks familiar. He had the shirt on and the shorts on that I had saw earlier. I said, hey, are you the one that was out on the balcony fighting the fire? Right away, his wife said, yes, he was. I found out it was retired firefighter from Babylon, New York, Ken Meadows. He was scheduled to do the race the next day in Lake Placid. He's an Ironman athlete. Well, Ken had inhaled a little bit too much smoke while he was helping others fight that fire, and he couldn't race the next day. So Iron Man offered him and the three residents of the building, uh, athletes, the athletes that were staying there, they're, they're just fine, that they could do an Iron Man in the future. Well, it just so happened that Ken was chosen to do Iron Man Hawaii in Kona. And that October, after the July fire in Lake Placid, he did Iron Man World Championship in Kona. Like I said, I've come across some of the most amazing people in the world that are Iron Man athletes. That story is in its full length and more in Finding My Voice. So make sure you sign up at MikeRiley.net. The book will be out in March. And we'll also post pretty soon now how you can get your autographed copy with a special message from me to you with my book. Aloha, everybody, and thank you very much for the support. Can't wait to have the book out so you can see and be inspired like I have been at some of the most incredible people in the world.